Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The father of a man who killed himself while on suicide watch in prison has said his death could and should have been avoided. Mark Saunders was stabbed while preventing his son Dean from self-harming. But Dean was remanded in custody in Chelmsford Prison, where he later killed himself. After an inquest found the prison and mental health services guilty of a series of failings. Our senior Home Affairs correspondent Simon Israel has been speaking to the Saunders family. There couldn't have been more failures around the care of Dean Saunders when he suddenly became mentally ill, paranoid, and violent to himself and others. With no hospital beds available, he was remanded to the healthcare unit at Chelmsford Prison on charges of attempted murder. His family were assured he'd be safe there, only he wasn't. All we were being told was, he's fine, he's safe, he's secure. But you were promised, weren't you? Yes. You were promised at the very beginning, don't worry, He's in safe hands. When a professional holds you by the hand, looks you in the face and says, we will do everything to, to keep him safe, he is in a safe place, you've got no option but to take that for face value. And you think that they are going, going to do that. But obviously, they fell short. On the 4th of January last year, Dean was discovered electrocuted in his cell. An inquest jury this week detailed a long list of failures to show just how far short the prison and the private healthcare contractor Care UK fell in protecting the 25-year-old. And in that list, one crucial conclusion, that the decision to decrease constant observation was based on financial considerations. On the Monday morning, people come in and go, right, we haven't got the staff, we haven't got the resources, we have not got the money, it's costing too much. Off constant watch. This prison is one of the top ten jails in England and Wales, rated the most violent, with the highest levels of self-harm. On any one day behind these walls, anywhere between 30 to 40 prisoners are either on suicide watch or at serious risk of self-harm. The prison's governor, Stephen Rodford, admitted at the inquest they had failed in their duty of care, but there's been no apology. The prison service hasn't apologised. No, not other than the not generic formally, letter. I don't think, no. Yeah. And, it's, uh, I, and what we want to see out of this is changes. You know, uh, I, I feel Dean's death could have been avoided if things were put into place. Well, when It was preventable, from, they said that. Care UK said it would reflect on the finding that constant watch on Dean Saunders was considered too expensive. Yet his death, through neglect, may serve as a warning.